Hey guys, Evan here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So guys, today I'm going to do some Arms War commentary in Renus. We're going to be in twos and threes. And hopefully you're going to get like a kind of an overview of the spec and how it's performing in Arena as it currently stands. Now, I kind of wanted to see how we do without the mobility, without the heals and all that good stuff, you know. And I guess this video is going to hopefully give us an view of that by the end of it. Alright, so I'm going to, probably going to go on the... Yeah, probably going to go on the priest. Stack up a bit of bleeds on this guy. Maybe get some rage here for a second. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna clear all trade him. Just wait for a second. Shockwave all trade him. Go fucking ham. Sons him out. Light some here. Kick his cast. Oh, that was a fast one. That was a fast one, man. Three, three stacks here before we wait. Can't, can't kick that shadow, man. That's okay, though. I got a shockwave in a sec, I think. Yeah, stun him out. He's dead. And that's how you do it. <laughs> they weren't even peeling for the here, the man. I don't understand why. But yeah, arm seems to be alright damage wise from the looks of it. How did I do in damage wise? So, I was top damage. That's pretty decent. I like that. Didn't get all the killing doors, but that's fine. We just wanted to see how our damage did. Alright, so we're going to be jumping into game number two here. Looks like we're finding a Animal Shaman and Beastmaster Hunter. I'm going to try to stun off the Beastmaster at the start and maybe just pop my one shot on the Ellie and see how fast I can kill him. Now, Ellie's do have a, a lot of damage and they also have Counter Strike Tone, so we really got to watch out for that. Okay, so now we can pop her at any moment. He's setting my pets, my pets on me, so it's fine. I'm just going to literally fair both if I can here. They got a fair bolt. Nice. Pop on it more reflect. Kick that cast. I'm going to stun him here so he can't put the taunt down. Pop the one shot. Probably hooked. No, no, he's put the taunt down. It feels bad, man. I think, we got, I think we're okay, though. Maybe I can do this. I got the victory rush. Come on, give me my victory rush. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm going to have the parry over here. This is chat's doing way too much damage to me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Maybe we can still do this. I got stun in a few seconds, man. Feels bad. Come on, please stun him. Put some rage here. Go for the one shot. Execute. Please, give me. Yes. Survive just about. <laughs> Top damage as well, still. Not doing too bad. Alright, so we're into game number three. We're still with this warrior. Looks like we're finding a prop warrior, Destro Lock. I'm gonna try maybe go for a spiral effect here. And I'm guessing probably sparring because probably gonna find that warrior afterwards so I'm gonna need that and like probably shockwave and a bit of overpower because he's a tank I think that would be a pretty decent way to go with this yeah so I'm gonna try to get on the death rock straight away and just freaking go nuts I might just try to get some rage up before I actually pop my one shot because I know death rock is just gonna pop his like freaking shit he's gonna go down there he thinks that's gonna save him somehow but it's not I'm gonna walk up to him so I have my leap still because I need that I'm gonna state the horrify here. I'm gonna get state this done as well. And I'm gonna put my reflect out here. Don't trigger this fucking fair boat. I got stunned at the start, popping up parry. Let's build up my stacks here. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Stun boat. You just teleport. It's fine. Pop my one shot on him, sans him out. Go for the one shot, execute. Yeah, there we go. Now you just gotta finish off the, the tank, which is gonna be really hard to do. But I'm gonna make sure he can't get back on my other warrior because he's gonna try to do that. And uh, the other warrior is just dying, man. It feels bad. You can't even get away, dude. You can't even get away, man. I, I need three stacks here. I really do need three stacks before I can go back on this guy. One, two, three. There we go for the one shot, maybe. Well, not really a one shot. Freaking stunned me just at the right moment, dude. Alright. Okay, I think he's got skill because he's a prop warrior. Tanks are just way overpowered on the bay, the rest of the stands. It's really going to be hard for me to win this. I don't even think I can. i got none left as well, so... I have Rally, that's about it. Rally, can you a few more seconds? Still feels bad, man. Try to get my stacks away here, here. Try to get some distance because it doesn't matter if I, you know... Still out here. Still maybe, you can still maybe do something about this. <laughs> Alright, so we're in game number 4 here. I'm going to go for a bit of uh, reduced damage on both melee and caster. Probably going to stick with shockwave. It looks like we're probably going to go on the mage. I'm going to try to go rogue if the rogue trinkets. Again, the 
defensive stance here because the rogue's gonna open me. I'm not gonna let both the mage and the rogue open me to be honest. It's not gonna happen. Or this is sap, so they definitely got me. Yeah, look, there's the blink. I don't mind if the rogue hits me. Alright, looks like I'm going rogue. Fair in the rogue. I'm gonna trick it here, please. We're going to get the bleed on him. Alright, stun him out here. Popping the one shot in the rogue. And he's just freaking dead. <laughs> Reflect over here. Kick that. Where is he at? I'm just gonna go behind here. He's gonna try to kill me. Nine, nine all of his damage. Looks like the prop warrior is gonna do a bit of damage in the mage. We're fine. Now it is gonna be a bit of a problem for me to get on this mage. I'm gonna blade some here so he has to blink. Which will allow me to get back on him because otherwise I won't be able to get back on him. That's my route. I'm gonna trigger this just because I know as well get out. There we go. Alright. Stack a bit of focus rage here. And I'm pretty sure he's dead at this point. Uh, I've heard nothing with that. But he's just dead, man. Shukerman, look, look at my cooldowns. Broke Leap was still on cooldown by the end of the actual arena. And that does actually bring into toilet our, our mobility issues. But the healing issue hasn't been too far just yet. We need to actually lose to actually see how we do. The um, mage apparently laughed at me because <laughs> I one shot his rogue. But whatever. Alright, so we're into Gangler 5 here. It looks like we're finding a Demon Hunter and a Beastmaster Hunter. I'm probably going to go on the Demon Hunter just because I want to kill him quickly. I'm not too sure if he's a tank or not, but I'm going to just sit here for a second. Because I know they're going to try to open me. They both want me. I'm so much more easier to kill, man. It's so crazy. Fearing that guy. Charge over here. Stun this guy. Pop one shot. Hopefully try to kill him. Look, there's my ability issue again. It's okay. I'm going to pop one shot here. Trigger this. Pop parry. Out of that. Kick the I-beam. Try to get the execute on him. Try to get behind. He's popped his parry as well. It's fine. We're still having a lot of problems here. Mobility's coming into problem. Our uh, healing's really bad right now. I can't do shit. And it looks like I'm actually going to die. Yeah, there's nothing I have left at this point. And yeah, the evasion pretty much killed me. I had no rally yet. My parry was down. All my cooldowns. And pretty much died even after stunning and fairing the target because I have no healing. That that becomes a problem in a game where I can't actually do anything, you know? I mean, yes, I could have went on the Hunter, but he would have just popped his uh, sh shell thing where he just goes into like a bubble kind of thing, and that would have become a problem with me. But yeah, as you can see, the prop where is probably going to one v two of these two. Um, but yeah, let's get into the next game after this one. Alright, so we're back in the arena, and this is game number six. It looks like we're fighting a, uh, a pretty weird cop, man. Rogue Priest hasn't been around for a long time. But yeah, we got a uh, Disc Priest as well. Sad old woman. <laughs> right, I guess we're going to be probably going to Shadow Priest, or if the Disc Priest gets in range, go to Disc Priest as well. Alright, swap the Disc Priest for a second. Can't kick that apparently. It's fine. I'm not going to pop anything to it too yet. I'm going to get some stacks. Fair enough, all of them. This triple shockwave, maybe? No, I missed it. This man. Don't fucking ham. Sounds the healer out. Oh, he's just fucking dead, man. <laughs> it looks like uh, Assassination Rogue is outperforming Arms Warrior, but yeah, Arms is doing a decent amount of damage. So, Assassination Rogue's damage is over the top, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like we did too bad in that game, so let's jump into game number seven here. Alright, so we're into game number seven here, and it looks like we're fighting two Demon Hunters and we're fighting double Arms Warriors. Pretty freaking. It's like the opposite. Two Demon Hunters. Versus arms warriors. <laughs> I think we should probably go on the monk. Yeah, let's go monk. Let's go on the monk. Let's see what happens. And hit me, please. Thank you for the rage. Thank you for the rage. More rage, please. Okay, they're popping cooldowns on me. It's fine, though. I'm gonna walk over to the monk. I'm gonna fear them all in a sec. Popping cooldowns now. Sounds him out. Come for the one shot. Oh fuck, he's getting wrecked. Oh shit! <laughs> Get wrecked. That was pretty awesome actually, I have to admit. I locked him out pretty well. That was my damage actually, yeah. It seems Demon Hunter is still doing a lot of damage though. Was he a tank Demon Hunter? Let me just check. Havoc. Oh, they're both Havoc, so... Yeah, Demon Hunter is doing a lot of damage. Who two with a Alright, let's get into the next game. Alright, so we're into our 8th and final game here. 
so I'm going to be going for a bit of a stun spec here, maybe go for a bit of overpower, something like that. No, actually no, Dauntless I think would be good here. Try to stun off the um, Hunter and then kill the Feral if I can. So we're going to focus number two here. Let's get into defensive stance and let's hope this does alright. Now I got it in hand sham with me, so I think this will be alright. Oh, the, f the fucking, he's over here, he's an idiot. He's dead. <laughs> Hoping the one shot, silence them out. Fairing both. Oh, didn't fear both, man. Feels bad. I'm just gonna fear the hunter then. Dude, don't die on me. Holy shit. He actually fucking died. Bad idea to come around, Feral. Bad idea. Maybe because there won't be two of this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Lightstorm. That fucking charge, though. See, this is mobility. I'm having a bigger mobility issue right now because I can't get back on that Feral because I haven't got two charges. When I've done spec for stone, I kind of got wrecked. All right, yeah. So th this is kind of proving my point about the mobility and the survivability. Like, there's nothing I can do at that point. But as you can see, throughout all the games, I did more better in trays, obviously, because the spec is based around trays. But I rest for two v two arenas. When it comes to get getting tired or mobility or survivability, I start to lack a lot in that area because Blizzard seems to have a fascination with us having double time on the same. St Tears our stone bolt and shockwave, as well as not having any heals, and their only heal, which is apparently supposed to be a heal, which isn't actually a heal, is only 9% of the damage you did more strike, makes it pretty much you get one heal of 100k throughout a 45 second period, which is a joke to be honest. So, yeah, I, I, all in all, I think the specs performing really well in 3v3 arenas. As for 2v2 arenas, we're lacking not quite a lot, as well as jewels, we're actually lacking quite a lot. There's percent specific classes that just like to kite us a lot. But all in all, ARMS is doing okay. It could be a lot better if they make the changes that I suggested in my other video, which was to give us a heal, making Mortal Strike do 9% of our health, rather than 9% of the damage Mortal Strike deals from our artifact. As well as giving Intercept two charges when you select it, rather than one, therefore we'd have mobility issues removed. And making the class a little bit more better as well. Maybe. I don't know if they really don't want to give us that more strike team, they could give us an Enrage regen instead or something. Uh, something that will make the spec feel a little bit better. But all in all, I'm still enjoying ARMS, so I'm still going to be playing it quite a lot in Legion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always guys, this is Evernote, I love you all, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.